Cool, so yeah, it's lovely to meet you, mate. Um, you're born in London, are you? Yes, I was born here. My whole family, or uh, my dad, I uh, was like born and lived here till like I was about three. That's right. when we moved to Australia. But yeah, so I've got all my family over here and I love coming back. I'm interested in how you sort of went about meeting your, your producer, M Phase, is he sort of who you did your first initial tracks with, you know. I heard that you got in contact with him initially from kind of him hearing one of your demos that you sent of when you were singing a James Bay song. Um, tell me tell me how that came about. It must have been really cool when you sort of met him for the first time. He had no idea that I was like just this, you know, random kid from Sydney and neither I had no idea he was this like huge producer yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was just like yeah what up <laughs> and it was like uh hello I suppose you asked the question but like you, you were like what 13 when this happened uh I was like yeah 11 or 12 actually yeah when that when I when I first met him yeah and what's it like it's, I was thinking about it earlier and it's almost like so and it's a bit of a comparison but kind of when Bieber shot to fame he was incredibly young as well yeah and I remember at the time it was it was sort of unfashionable for Particularly the men to kind of admit that they quite liked Bieber, and it was yeah. lots of kind of young girls that liked yeah. him. Uh-huh. Do you think a lot of you know the way you're viewed now is like ruled like such a young lad, and that's sort of what's so impressive? Do you think? Are you looking forward to the day when you're kind of maybe just appreciated for being a, like a complete pure artist and not well, not just a young lad who's really talented? Well, um, 100. I guess like from day one as well, we've always wanted to keep the music first and the age secondary. Mm. Like before, like. When I first got Instagram, or when I first got any social media, and like I did a few little uh, recordings here and there, and they're like we're kind of releasing music, mm. my face wasn't shown at all. Neither was my age. Nothing. We, we didn't put anything out other than the music, yeah. and that kind of resonated, I guess. And that kind of that started building. And then I did one thing where I showed my face, and like it was like okay, now it's like the age is kind of there, but it was still secondary. Like it's still everything we put out everything every media release it's all about the music and yeah. it's of the age which i think is the best way to do it because it keeps me credible and it keeps me an artist instead of a gimmick mm. and and I, I imagine you get this a lot but then elton john kind of heard it yeah <laughs> yeah that was crazy that was actually insane what's what's um, the feeling like when something like that happens it um, just must be unbelievable yeah it was very very overwhelming um <laughs> yeah so he played my song on his uh radio show uh, on Beats One, and I remember my manager sent me the audio of it when I was in school. Um, oh I was just in, I was just in my locker room <laughs> by myself after lunch, and I was by myself. And uh, yeah, I just opened up this audio. He just sent me this audio, and like Elton John's face was on it. What the heck? I was like, okay, I played it, and I just started freaking out. Yeah. Like I just had like the mo- like the weirdest like feeling and like just I had a little dance party in my <laughs> locker room by myself after I heard this thing of like Elton John yeah, yeah. talking about me it was insane and uh, yeah that was that was a very special moment and then a couple of weeks later he was in Sydney and he oh, wanted to meet me mostly. so I got to meet him and we could, like ch- like you know chatted for like wow. a few hours just about like new music and he gave me some really like great wisdom and he was really cool how long ago was that that was I was it, I don't actually uh, I shouldn't it was either last year or this year right, it was so these past two years I don't even know what's happened and where they are yeah, <laughs> like yeah. everything because everything just gone it's so, so quickly, fast yeah. and like it's just it all feels like it all happened in a week mm. but like it's just to think that two years ago yeah I just released my first song and like I didn't have anything out or like had nothing behind me yeah. and then like in two years this just thing has grown yeah. and it's you know it's me Adam McDonald on Fuse FM, Fuse FM.